Hey, everybody. Welcome to the broadcast today. My name is RJ Redden. I am with Black Belt Bots. And today we are going to talk a little bit about broadcasts. Now, if you're not familiar with the show, you may not know, but on Tuesdays we do how to get more eyeballs into you, how to get more people into your bot, how more, how to get more people subscribe to your chat bot by creating sequences. We do how to's, uh, we do, we do lots of stuff on Tuesdays about getting people to the party. On Thursdays, we talk about what to do once people are at the party, uh, how to keep people engaged through broadcasts. And today, I'm going to help you learn how to set up reminders, uh, which is very important and cool. So, uh, so first of all, why set up a reminder to your live stream, podcast, YouTube video, blog post, whatever it is, whatever regular content that you've decided to create. Why do you want to set up a broadcast? Isn't that something that annoys people? Let me tell you, absolutely not. People love this. I know that as a small business owner, hello, Stephen. Hey, Bill, uh, good to see you. Uh, welcome to the show. So, are people annoyed by this? Absolutely not. Uh, the people that want to subscribe, uh, to your lives, I do remind them they can stop, you know, they can stop at any time by just typing the word stop. Um, so that, you know, that alleviates, uh, the annoyedness. Uh, but I tell you what, it's people who are actually interested in what you're doing and they've expressed an interest. Uh, by the way, uh, you may know this already, but if you type the word live into the comments, uh, then you will be uh, officially welcomed in and you'll get a reminder every time I go live uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So why do this? Why set up the reminders? Tell you why right now. Making things super dead easy for people is really something that breeds results. You know what? A ton of people might want to come to your show, my friend. Maybe a lot of people are interested. They're just busy, overworked, overtired, got some other thing going on. It's fine, my friend. It's fine. If you send them a little note in Messenger along with a link to your show, it's magic. It's magic. People people show up uh, or people more people watch your replay. Uh, if you're doing a live stream, that's been my experience with it that, you know, sometimes people are just super busy. I've got a couple of moms who are clients, uh, moms who have kids with them all day long. And it's not always easy for them to break away and watch a show, even if it's on the phone later. Uh, but when you send them a link in the messenger, it's just that you've just made it a step easier for them to just hit the show, put you on in the background. Uh, so <clears throat> also want to say this. Oh, Bill, you watched me this morning with Steven. Uh, well, any show with Steven is an absolutely fabulous show. And you probably knew that already, but uh, just want to give a shout out. We did a show yesterday that was great. Uh, so uh, welcome. Uh, I'm glad you're here, Bill. Uh, that's awful nice of you to stop by. I want to say this about uh, sending people reminders too, and that is and something we all know, right? But I'm just going to, I think it bears repeating here. Consistency breeds results. Consistency breeds results. Listen, if I'm on every Tuesday, Thursday at one o'clock and you know that and you get a little reminder, that is, uh, that is something that is kind of a stabilizing force in this crazy world of ours. You know, it's somewhat of a, a reminder that no matter what's going on in your life, it could be crazy. It could be busy. Uh, all of those things. And it probably is. You, you still have me to watch, uh, as part of your, you know, we're, we're, we are in this generation of people. We are, we're curators. We get to watch what we choose when we choose to. We're the on demand people. And, uh, no matter what's going on in your life, I'm being consistent. I'm there. I'm offering value and I'm in your pocket anytime you want to bring your phone out and watch me. So, uh, that is, those are the two, I think, big 
biggest reasons why you would choose to set up reminders uh, as broadcast or as broadcast. So that's that too. If you plan out your show topics ahead of time, uh, like I do, you, oh, well, mostly, except when Facebook makes an announcement, then I got no schedule. Uh, but most of the time I do have a schedule and that way I can plan my posts out. I can set up these broadcasts in many chat for a month. I can, I can, you know, set them ahead of time for a long time. So that's another thing that's super easy to do, makes it easier on you than doing it the day of. So what do you need to do this? Okay. You need a Facebook page connected to a many chat account. If you don't have your page connected right now, uh, Facebook has uh, temporarily suspended new uh, accounts being attached to ManyChat. Uh, not to just ManyChat, but to everything. Uh, if you haven't been reading the news, I get you. I feel you. I don't read it either, mostly, uh, except when it concerns Facebook. So Facebook's reviewing their data, making everything a better experience for everybody. That's fine. Listen, if you don't have your page connected right now, you can still plan a bot. If you've got a stack of post-it notes and a wall, you can plan your bot. So you can totally follow along with me today. But you need a Facebook page connected to a mini chat account, and you need a post. You need a link of some kind. Uh, you need a link to the YouTube video you want people to watch. You need a link to the podcast you want people to hear, the blog post you want people to read, or the live stream you want people to see. You need to have made that in advance because we're going to need that link later on. So first of all, you need the post. Secondly, you need to, in order to set up these uh, reminders, it's super helpful to set up something called a growth tool. So let me start sharing my screen right now. Now, as a reminder, when I share my screen, I can't read the questions. Uh, so when I come back on screen, I'll catch up on everything all at once. I am not ignoring you. You're my audience. I love you. So just know that when I'm sharing my screen, that is taking my full attention. So uh, let's go and do that right now, in fact. And uh, we'll get rid of me temporarily.
Uh, all right. Uh, so sorry about the audio there. Um, let's see. Um, uh, so if you can hear me, please, uh, put in the comments that you can. Uh, deeply sorry about this. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes technology can be a little funky. Uh, so you can hear me. Fantastic, darling. Now, can you tell me where my sound cut out? Do you, uh, have you heard me at all during this broadcast? Do I need to start over? Because I will. I'm not afraid. Um, you can hear me now. Great. When did I cut out for you? Did you hear me at all during the first part? Because that is good to know. Uh, I love broadcasting and I'll do it over and over again if I have to. I'm not afraid. Um, you just got on it and it was quiet. Okay. I got, uh, I got something, uh, on, th uh, a little bit, uh, shoot. I think that I have, uh, I don't know if I have been, uh, it, it, other other viewers, if you care to get on and tell me when uh, when you started the screen share is is when the sound went out. Perfect. Uh, just absolutely love that. Um, <laughs> uh, Bill, you asked me a little bit earlier um, what I was using. Yeah, I am using something besides Facebook Live to stream. I'm using BeLive, uh, which is a product uh, that. Um, you know, uh, I've got, I've had it forever, um, and it allows you to do some screen shares. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, boy, uh, you missed some golden droplets there. As I was uh, doing the screen share, it was all absolutely hilarious and very entertaining. Um, but uh, I will, I tell you what, I will, I will um, probably, since I don't know what wrong, what went wrong during the screen share. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a little Facebook. I'm going to do a little ecam. Um, I'm going to make a recording of the steps that I was going through, uh, just so that you can still kind of see what's going on there. Uh, I want you to be able to follow, follow along step by step because it's really important. It's such a short broadcast and it means the world. It really, really does. Listen. When I'm doing a bot, people feel cared about, seen, listened to. When you are sending people who are interested in receiving your stuff, stuff about, hey, I'm going live. Hey, I'm doing a new thing. Hey, there's been a, an announcement from Facebook today. That kind of stuff really helps people feel like they're in the loop, in the know, and you're sending that message right to where they're looking. So try it again and let's see if the same problem happens. Okay. Oh, you use BeLive and recently Ecamm. Uh, yeah, love Ecamm. Uh, love it, love it. Except I, uh, it's a little bit more, um, I kind of like BeLive because BeLive gets those comments uh, like yours super front and center. You know what I'm saying? People can kind of see their faces and stuff and people like it. Anyway, uh, so Kim, uh, who is a fabulous social media person, by the way, says, try it again and see if the same problem happens. I will, Kim, if you will keep on your text messages and tell me if I go uh, over to that other screen, tell me if you are not hearing me through text so that I can see that. So uh, fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again. And we'll see. If I can, if uh, if the same thing happens to my voice, uh, now what I've done here is I've got a uh, I've got this is the broadcast that I actually used for today. Uh, it's over in the side here, and what I've got is some very few elements, my friends, makes this thing work. Um, sometimes you just want to have a quick conversation with people. Broadcasts are a very quick conversation; they're just a check in. Elements. Hi there, first name. Obviously, you want to get that in there. A uh, little bit of a delay. You don't want messages popping in right on top of each other. An image. 
obviously I use my show card. This is also the very same image that I'll use for all of my YouTubes. Uh, super easy to do and then repurpose many, many times. Uh, it's good stuff. Another bit of a delay and then two things. What you're doing, how you're doing it. It's all I need you to do. What I'm doing is going live in 15 minutes. Generally, it's about getting more eyeballs to your content. Uh, this is the how. I'm going to teach you how to create Kermai de Prague gas on ManyChat. Come join me. That's all it is. And so I was building it over here in the side when I got, uh, when I got reminded that uh, no one could hear me. Uh, so uh, here we go. <clears throat> I will, uh, I will just quickly go through this. This is, you know what? I'm going to ditch this thing entirely because it doesn't make, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to go through the steps otherwise. So real quick, uh, I'm going to go ahead and build another one out here for you. Promise this will be quick, my friends, but. The magic of videos, you can always pause uh, if you're watching this bad boy on the replay. Um, so this one is just hi, and then, oh, yep. Of course, my computer would fall off a stand during a live. I'm trying to make all the mistakes I can during this live. Uh, this is my humanity showing. All right, here we go. First name. Okay, perfect. Little delay. Little uh, little image, actually, is what I will add here. And you add these building blocks just by clicking on them in this lower half of the screen. So I add an image. Again, it's my show card. Then I'm going to add a little delay again so that people can read the text on that show card. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do what? Give it a couple of spaces. I'm going to do how. You want these messages to be really short. You just want to check in. You don't want them reading a book on this thing. Then I'm going to add the two links that you see here. Got to watch live and catch the replay. Okay. Now you go to add button, click it, and this menu will open up over here. Go to open website. Fantastic. Hit this. We will say watch live. Okay, perfect. We're going to enter a URL right here. That's what they're asking for. We're just going to put Google right now. Fantastic. And then you've noticed here I've added a tag. I want to know who's clicking that show to watch it live. I might want to come back to those people in an hour or so and just say thank you for watching. I might want to ask them a question. What more would you, what topics would you like to see on this show? Uh, do you think anything is missing from the show? I may want to start a conversation that has nothing to do with the show, but I absolutely do want to capture whether they clicked that link or not when I gave it to them. So here's what we're going to do with our example that we're building out here. We're going to perform actions and then click on that action bubble. Let's drag it. Let's drag it to a place where you can see it. So I've clicked on, you know, and it'll say click to edit in the sidebar, just in case you forget. They're so nice over at ManyChat. Add tag and then click to watch live. That's all you need to do. Then I always add a second one, catch the replay. Here's why I add that one. It's the exact same link, my friends. It's the exact same link to the replay or to the live. But what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to mimic the words that I think that they're thinking. You know, I want this to, to be as much of a conversation as humanly possible. So if somebody reads this message and they've already got an appointment at one o'clock Central Standard Time on Tuesday and or Thursday, they really want to watch the show and they think, they look at the calendar and go, I got something right there. See you, hear you, no screenshots. <sighs> All right. Uh, just loving this. Uh, here we go. Here's a screenshot. 
Uh, let's see. Hopefully that is now. Let me see if, um, let me see. Oops. N nope. Let's try this. Let's try re me remaining on screen and then doing a screen share and see if that works. Sweethearts, I promise you. Uh, this is going to be my most scintillating show ever. Uh, this is great stuff. So, uh, Kim, do ping me and tell me if, uh, if you can see and hear me and if you can hear what I'm doing here. Now it works. We've got the magic formula now. Uh, don't you just love live streaming? Uh, I do. I know I do. So, <clears throat> wh uh, what we have got is I'm building one, r building something right out here that is exactly like this. Uh, you know, I want to have a, a little prototype. That's just how I work. Uh, and so uh, what I will do is, hi, first name. This first name is added by Facebook. They, they let you have that information uh, to add into. It's just like your email. If you've ever set up an email and you want it to kind of, put the person's first name in there. This is no more than what's happening there. I add a delay. I add things by clicking on them in this lower part right here. Uh, add a little delay so that people can kind of, you know, read that. Process. Uh, just like I've added over here. After the image, uh, and I use that image, by the way, I use that image every place. I use that image to, uh, to promote my live streams and my shows everywhere. And then I use the same image on YouTube, uh, when I'm looking for a cover image, uh, for the show, uh, su super sweet repurposement that you can totally do there. Um, and then I, ha I add a typing three seconds. I want it to be three because people have to read what's on that text and I want them to have enough time. Nothing is more annoying to people than getting bumped with messages bef with with new messages before they've read the last one. It makes them feel anxious. You just don't want that. You don't want that. Uh, so typing three seconds because they have to read. And then what and how. And that is exactly what I've got here. What is I'm going live in 15. Today we'll be talking about getting more eyeballs to your stuff. How is right here? I'll teach you how to create reminder broadcasts in many chat. Come, many chat. Sorry, come join me. Um, so we've got the watch live. Now let's repeat that operation by doing the catch, setting up the catch the replay. So here's the title of the button: catch the replay. Notice too, uh, this is just one of my little tricks, but on the buttons, I will capitalize all the words. Um, just because, uh, it makes things stand all, stand out a little bit more. Um, so very good. We've typed the button title. We're going to open a website, obviously. You're going to put your link to your video, blog post, uh, whatever you're streaming. You're going to put that right here. And I'm going to type in, uh, you know, the big one. Uh, okay, very good. Now, perform actions. We're adding that tag so that we can see who is uh, who is clicking that button. Uh, again, people I might want to talk to later uh, about the show might want to engage them in conversation in some other way. Click to watch live, and that's it. That is how to, that's how to make, uh, your broadcast. Obviously, that's a, you know, that's a little bare bones, but, uh, uh, didn't want to type out all those words. Uh, I know that you can figure that out, my friends. Uh, next thing, it'll say go next up here in this, uh, upper right hand corner. It's a subscription broadcast. Promotion, ads or promotional materials are, here are my shoes, buy them. Um, buy this sale here, free, all of those words are trigger words that it might be a promotional or an ad. I never, ever say those words unless I get permission first. Um, and, and so that way all of my broadcasts are subscription broadcasts. I just never say words. Uh, I don't, 
I never, ever get into someone's messenger and, and are like, I've got a new class right now and then got a button that says buy here. You wouldn't start a conversation that way. Don't broadcast to people that way. And you will stay in Facebook's good side. That's what you want to do, my friends. Um, I have tags. Uh, I have this, this, there's this targeting section. I've got uh, where if you've opted in by typing in live uh, to get the replays, then that this, this part will target you. I've got a tag is live and click to watch live. If you fit any of those conditions, then you'll be added to this subscription. Uh, I always schedule for later. Um, that when you hit that, it'll bring up a little calendar for you and you can set this to go about 15 minutes before the show. Uh, I find that that gives enough people and time to people to, you know, get, get settled, uh, get situated and watch if they want to, or just decide they're going to do the replay. I send all at the same time. Uh, super easy to do. Um, you know, I, I just want it to go out all at the same time because my show happens at the same time for everybody because it's a live stream. Um, you could also do limit sending time and make it between certain hours of the day. For me, my show's at one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not going to wake anybody up if I send a, uh, a message now. Whatever you do, don't use time travel. That was at a previous show. Stuff not chat a show don't use time travel it's broken right now and notification settings i make this a regular push i only send this broadcast out to the people who have subscribed twice a week twice a week is fine for sending something as a regular push if you start sending messages three four times a week um you're going to want to send it on silent you're going to want to go with ninja mode you do it, which means that their phone doesn't buzz and there's nothing that appears on the lock screen, but the next time they go to their messenger, they'll see that you've been there. There's going to be an unread message there. You may choose, you know, you may choose one of these others, but that is what I do just because I know that people want to hear from me, but they don't, you know, unless I'm married to them, they don't want to hear from me every day, uh, even if they love me, really. Uh, so that is my advice to you. Either go regular push if it's two or less messages a week. Go silent if you start to go more than that, just so that you can provide the value that people want to see. But at the same time, you don't want to overwhelm anybody. Hey, we're all overwhelmed anyway. Never want to add to that, right? So then you hit the send button and it's all good. If you want to, you can preview. Uh, always a good thing to do. Not a step I'm going to go through right now. So, uh, so that's kind of it. Uh, it works finally. Boy, you guys, that was a long one, wasn't it? I promise. Uh, that's probably the most mistakes I've ever made all in one show. Got them out of the way. It was great. Uh, so I mentioned at the beginning that Tuesdays is all about using, using messenger bots, getting more people into the messenger bot, getting more subscribers. Thursdays is all about the engagement factor, how to keep those folks engaged. Um, and, uh, and so next Tuesday, we're going to talk about the comment growth tool. Uh, you, it's the, it's the same growth tool that I have set up on this very page for this very post. You, you type in in live to be able to subscribe to someone's, uh, you know, whenever they go live, you can do this growth tool, uh, on anything. Uh, I happen to use it, uh, during a live stream. Some people use it to get people into webinars. Uh, you know, people use it for a variety of things. This, uh, next Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to set up that comment growth tool. And as a special bonus, I'm going to do it without long silent periods in the broadcast. I know you're excited. And so am I. Uh, in the meantime, if you are thinking about building a bot, have questions about building a bot, uh, why don't you come join my free community? Why don't you come by? It's a great place to be. We would love to have you there. Uh, also, if you are thinking really about starting a bot, uh, but just kind of needing a little bit of push. I have got some free 
templates for you. You can start today if you want. You can start today uh, carving out what you're going to say, thinking about what that conversation is going to look like. Uh, and you can do that by going to startyourbot.com. Uh, right there, you'll be put into my messenger. You'll get connected with a class that I have online that is free and has free starter templates for you. You can get into that stuff right now. Um, and uh, that's it. You, uh, In order to get there, just go to blackbeltbots.com, hit up the shop tab. The free templates are the first ones. I have some more detailed templates as well. Feel free to shop around. And I've got a full class that will teach you everything that you need to know. A to Z soup to nuts. Feel free to check that out as well. And if you've got any questions, just let me know. Guys, I want to thank you especially for attending the show today. I know it was a bit of a rough, a couple of rough moments there, but you all, uh, you all sat through it and I'm so grateful. Uh, thanks again for coming. See you next Tuesday. And, uh, with that, my friends, I'll see you in a bot.